Every year, thousands of students across the country begin their flight training. Whether it's overcoming fear, a career in aviation, or the enjoyment of flying, students start by enrolling in flight school. On the Sunshine Coast, Go Fly Aviation, operated by Damien Wills and his team of instructors, work hard, have fun, and teach everyday people to fulfill their dream of taking flight. Stephen and Ruth are in the USA for a couple of film festivals and have taken the opportunity to connect with the USA division of the Airplane Factory. Matt shows Stephen through the facilities, before taking him through the differences between the Sling 2 and the Sling 4. That we use uh, on, the, on the fixed pitch ones, yeah. but uh, it's got this electric constant speed prop, okay. which is really, <clears throat> that in combination with the turbo is what makes this airplane what it is. Because, okay. you know, obviously 100 horsepower yeah. for four people is yeah. not enough normally. No. But if you can develop 100 horsepower and if you can deliver the turbocharger yeah. and the constant speed prop, yeah. uh, like you'll see on takeoff with this, with this airplane, we get 5,800 RPM. 50 okay. Okay. Whereas you normally get like 5,000. Yeah. Yeah. About one foot of wing on the inboard right. end and the flap is extended and the fuel tank is therefore, you know, the fuel tank goes up to the same place. So the fuel tank is bigger, yeah. the flap is bigger, yeah. but essentially the outboard portions of the wing are the same. Pre flight is complete. Um, we'll mount up and then I'll brief you on all the differences and then I'll walk you through the, you know, I'm not going to turn it into a whole big yeah, you know, sure. lesson unless you want me to. What makes a sling the legendary aeroplane that it is, 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 is in a big way, is Mike, Mike's thinking, and James's too, because um, Mike thought of the idea and started with it and James came in and if James was not the kind of character he was, the airplane wouldn't have been developed as much as it was and would, have, would not have gone as far as it's gone. And um, Mike said one, an airplane must look good to fly good, so he made it look good. And then he, in the development of it, he never had any, any compromise. So he started with a, a seat, got the seat position because he'd flown aeroplanes around the world many times, small aeroplanes, the ultralights and things. He realized if you sit in an aeroplane for a long time, it needs to be comfortable. So you'll see one of the unique things on the sling, the seat is tilted, the, the bottom is tilted a little bit, so it gives you a very comfortable seating position, which is why we could do the trips we did. So he started with the seat, then he put the biggest person on the seat and he built a cockpit around him. Once he had that, he took the engine that he wanted to use and then the basic lines he had and he married the two to make an aeroplane that was spacious, practical and looked pretty. And then he chose a wing which was, if, and, and now beyond comfort and, and, and ergonomics was now mainly the safety aspect. So he very, instinctively and with a lot of effort and thought got the right wing plan wing plan form he chose the right airfoil with help and input from from aviation uh, experts that it worked with him but he he hit it on the numbers to get the right and the right airfoil so he had a pretty airplane and the right airfoil and all his passion putting into that he didn't make an aeroplane that was easy to make. He made an aeroplane that flew good, looked good, and did all the effort to make it work good. Sling one, Romeo Whiskey on flight, runway 29 or right, cleared for takeoff, say direction of flight again. Cleared for takeoff, 29 or right, one Romeo Whiskey on flight, uh, we're uh, 270, a right hand 270 departure southbound. One Romeo Whiskey on flight, right 270 approved. Roger, one Romeo Whiskey on flight. Okay. Trigger 9 or 7, Juliet. So, okay, I want you to ask you if you can take an early uh, okay, left great, turn so we can just line uh, up on the right finish. side of the runway, and you can keep it rolling. And Trigger 9 or 7, Juliet. Trigger 9 or 7, Juliet, I have your request. And now that we lined up, you can slowly advance to full power.
Engine indications are good, so we can pull the handle and go to 115 percent. 397 Juliet, your uh, published Miss VFR is start making the nose light. Expect the early left turn. Runway 29 or right. And you can start to rotate. And, and rotate. Right low approach. 97 Juliet, thank you. And pitch down for about 80. Nice job. Okay, so it's a beautiful aircraft to fly. Yeah, it's a little bit more uh, kind of sturdy feeling than the two seater, yeah. but it's still very nice. One Delta is number two, following oh, the Cherokee on the two and a half mile final, runway two nine are What's right, yep. clear to land. Good. Number two, two nine are right, clear to land. Okay, we've got our buddies with us. They're looking good. Okay, let's start making a slow right-hand turn. Put my left center above right and behind. Good. Okay, and keep the turn coming around. Like this, this is a great turn radius. Let's keep it coming around until we uh, playing with Romeo whiskey and flight pass behind it. Eric, you got a one-mile final for your southbound turn. Uh, Roger, we'll widen out to pass behind the Cherokee. One room here with Kim Flight. Okay, so he wants us to go all the way around the back side of the airport, so just keep flying around the airport. We'll, we'll fly kind of around the approach end of that runway there. Now look how bad the visibility is yeah. for seeing the city. Kind of a pity. You wanting to make a safe aeroplane, a pretty aeroplane, and at, at, with no compromise. He could have made a, a straight, you know, a straight wing. It would have looked okay, but, and may have been easy to make because each rib's the same, but now each, because it's tapered in all aspects, it, it's, the, the, the ribs change. So it's a lot more tooling, a lot more effort, but it is, it is, it is the airfoil design, the use of a proven engine, and that passion that made that all happen. Catalina traffic, a pair of uh, low-wing slings is inbound from the north, uh, about uh, six miles out uh, to join uh, right traffic for 2-2, Catalina. And is that the runway over there? Yeah. <laughs> that is sketchy, isn't it? Yeah, oh, I love it. <laughs> um, and it's not, it's not uh, difficult, I mean, you just have to know how to fly. Uh, but every, every person who Flies Catalina first gets the Catalina checkout from an instructor. Right. We require all of our uh, renters and students to get a checkout. There's a C-130 up there. Oh yeah, military transport. Yeah. So you seem like you've got a lot of defense industry in and around LA. Oh, LA is the, the biggest. Yeah, I mean we have uh, McDonald Douglas. They did, you know. Uh, Raytheon. How it used Raytheon, yeah. uh, Northrop Grumman, yep. Boeing. Uh, LA is like the, the center of the, avia the military aviation universe. Right. Catalina traffic, a flight of two low-wing slings is uh, turning uh, onto the right 45 for runway 22, Catalina. I'm going to start slowing her down to drop some flaps in. I'm just going to go full flaps. Catalina traffic, flight of two low wing slings is uh, turning uh, base, uh, runway 22, Catalina. And we approach a little faster than, uh, than the two seater. Gotta keep a little power in. Get any sinks on this side of the if runway? You get, if you get low and if there's strong wind, you get big sink, yeah. So if people come in too low, they, they can end up... In the people, side of the cliff. Yeah. People uh, do the... You know, killing number two, turning base. People kill themselves... Catalina like wins now, two six zero with five. Right. People uh, come in with a downdraft here or they go off the end. <laughs> but uh, we won't do any of those things, don't worry. <laughs> So now you can see it's hard to judge, you know, yeah, yeah, uh, altitude, but uh, 
But we are about 600 feet above pan altitude, so we're getting to the point where we're going to be a bit high now. So I'm going to come off the power. Look at that, it's an aircraft carrier. Yeah. Waypoint arrival. I'm going to keep coming in pretty steeply like this. We had 80 knots, so we have plenty of speed. And uh, I think our altitude is, is perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Runway 2 turning final 2-2 Catalina. The runway is a little bit bumpy. And number one's going to land a little long. Got plenty of room. A little bouncy one for you guys there. All right, she's a bit of a bouncy. Wow. Oh. Having landed at Catalina Island, they take the opportunity to enjoy a traditional Catalina burger and fries at the airport in the sky.